Hello viewers, in this lecture series, we will discuss about the airfield ground lighting system. Airfield ground lighting helps pilot with situation awareness through illuminated color, spacing, and light intensity. Lights indicate where an aircraft is on the airfield and provide guidance regarding pathways where the aircraft can head. Landing a large commercial aircraft is a challenging maneuver that involves many variables such as wind direction, wind speed, weather conditions, and the length and positioning of the runway. Airports have a universal system of colored ground lights that help a pilot in landing safely, all of which are controlled by the airdrome control tower. Let's try to understand about the different groupings of light that a pilot will encounter between touchdown and docking. Approach lights. There are several different formations used for these lights, which are visible from up to 20 miles away in the dark. They consist of a series of unilateral white, red, green, and yellow lights that help the pilot to locate the correct light path and align the plane with the center line of the runway. Threshold lights. A line of evenly spaced green lights run across the full width of a start of the runway. These indicates the beginning of the safe to land zone. Edge lights. These lights define the runway's width. White light spacing no more than 200 feet apart line the sides of the tarmac. On instrument runways, the last half of the edge lights are yellow, indicating the final stretch of the runway. Centerline lights. The middle of the runway is designated by white lights spaced 50 feet apart. These lights will alternate between white and red for 2,000 feet of the final 3,000 feet of runway. And for the final 1,000 feet, the lights are red. Taxiway lights. Once a plane has landed, the control tower will highlight a plane's designated taxi lane with green edge lights and blue center lights. So, it may sound complicated. However, pilot quickly became familiar with this colorful light system and with every night landing, they execute. So, here airport lighting systems are consist of lights such as approach lighting system, runway lighting system, taxiway lighting system, airport rotating beacons, precision approach path indicator lighting systems. Airport lighting system can be of different light intensity. As per the IKO, they are basically three types of light intensities. High intensity runway lights, medium intensity runway lights, or low intensity runway lights. High intensity runway lights and medium intensity runway lights have variable intensity controls. Whereas the low intensity runway lights have only one intensity setting. At airports, where there is a control tower, the tower will manage the lights based on visibility condition or based on the pilot preference. But some airports do not have control towers. These airports will have pilot controlled lighting system. At these airports, pilot can adjust the lighting themselves by pressing a microphone button a certain number of times. Pilot can themselves can change the intensity of light using press to talk system twice or thrice. So here in this first part now, we will study the approach lighting system. Approach lighting system is a lighting system which is installed in the approach side of an airport runway. Approach lighting system 
usually serves a runway that has an instrument approach procedure associated with it and allows the pilot to visually identify the runway environment and which helps in visual alignment of the aircraft with the runway during the approach in night or during reduced visibility conditions. Approach lighting system provide the basic means to transition from instrument flight to visual flight for landing. As per Annex 14 aerodromes, approach lighting systems are classified based on the type of runway. So, simple approach lighting system for non-instrument runway, simple approach lighting system for non-precision approach runway, precision approach runway category 1 lighting system, and the last is precision approach runway CAT 2, CAT 3 lighting system. Approach lighting system are also classified based on the length of approach lights. So basically there are four types. First is full approach lighting system, which are CAT 1 lighting system, high intensity lights of length greater than 720 meters. The second one is intermediate approach light system. These are simple approach lighting system of length 420 meters to 719 meters of high intensity lights. The third one is basic intensity approach light, basic approach light system. These can be of high intensity or medium intensity, but the length of the approach light is between 210 meters to 419 meters. If the length of approach light is less than 210 meters, this will classify it under no approach light system. So, for non-instrument and non-precision approach runway, ICAO NX14 recommends where physically practicable, a simple approach lighting system should be provided to serve a non-instrument runway where the code number is 3 or 4 and when that runway is intended to be used at night. So, a simple approach lighting system can be of two types. The left hand side we have shown single source type and the right hand side we have shown Barrett type. A Barrett is three or more ground aeronautical lights which are closely spaced to appear as a bar of lights and it is of 4 meters in length. So, a simple approach lighting system, the length is not less than 420 meters. The spacing between centerline lights can be of 60 meters or 30 meters. Crossbars are placed which are of width of 18 meters or 30 meters at a distance of 300 meters from the threshold. If required, we can place an additional crossbar at 150 meters from the threshold. This is a simple approach lighting system with sequential flashlight. This is distance coded precision approach runway category 1 lighting system. The precision approach category 1 lighting system can be of two types. Distance coded, which is shown towards left, and Barrett centerline light type, which is shown towards right hand side. The length of precision approach category 1 lighting system is of 900 meters. The spacing between centerline lights is of 30 meters. Crossbar of width 30 meter is placed at a distance of 300 meters from the threshold. The color of approach light system is variable white and each center line lights shall consist of single light source in the innermost 300 meters. Thereafter, two light sources in the central 300 meters and thereafter, three light sources in the outer 300 meters in the distance coded center line type system and Otherwise, for a Barrett, 
of at least 4 meter in length with a longitudinal spacing of 30 meters. So here, if we are using center line consists of distance coded center light type approach light system, we need to place additional crossbar of light at 150 meters, 450 meters, 600 meters, 750 meters from the threshold in addition to the crossbar at 300 meters. Here, each center line light shall consist of single light source for the first innermost 300 meters. Thereafter, it will become two light sources in the central 300 meters and thereafter, three light sources in the outer 300 meter. This is distance coded precision approach category one lighting system. For a barrel center line type precision approach category one lighting system, center line is a barrel of at least four meters in length and placed at an interval of 30 meters. A crossbar of width 30 meter is placed at a distance of 300 meters from the threshold. So here, each barrel supplemented by a flashing light flashed twice a second in sequence, beginning with the outermost light and progressing towards the threshold. This is precision approach CAT2 and CAT3 lighting system. The length is 900 meters. Two side rows of red lights as are extending from threshold up to 270 meters. Lateral spacing between side rows shall not be less than 18 meters and shall not be more than 22.5 meters, but in any event shall be equal to that of the touchdown zone lights. Two crossbars at 150 meters and 300 meters from the threshold. Longitudinal interval between center line lights is of 30 meters. So, here the total length of CAT2 CAT3 precision approach lighting system is 900 meters. The center line lights are white, barrette type of length minimum 4 meters and which are placed at a longitudinal interval of 30 meters. Two side rows. Barrett of red lights are extending up to 270 meters from threshold. The lateral spacing between side rows shall be equal to that of the touchdown zone lights. So it will be between 18 to 22 decimal 5 meters. The distance between longitudinal side rows light is 30 meters. The crossbars are placed at 150 meters and 300 meters. Crossbar at 150 meter fills in the gaps, whereas crossbar at 300 meter extend on both sides of the center line. As the two side rows are extended only up to 270 meters. Beyond 300 meters from threshold, the pattern is seen as precision approach CAT1 system. It can be of Barrett or distant coded type. So here, this is distance coded category two, category three, instrument approach lighting system. This is Barrett center line type, precision approach CAT2, CAT3 lighting system. This is the cockpit view of CAT2, CAT3 approach lighting system. Circling guidance lights. These should be provided to say circling aircraft in the condition for which it is intended the runway be used for circling approaches. So here, circling guiding lights are represented on chart which guides aircraft for circling approach at the airport. A runway lead-in lighting system should be provided where it is desired to provide visual guidance 
along a specific approach path for reasons such as avoiding hazardous terrain or for the purpose of noise abatement. The runway laden light system consists of a number of sequenced flash lighting beginning at the distance from the threshold determined by the need and terrain. They are used primarily when background lighting or terrain prevents approach lighting system or runway identification. These lights flash twice per second in sequence toward the approach lighting system or the runway threshold. Thank you, dear viewers. We have reached to the end of the airport approach lighting system. Hope you have found this interesting and useful.